I'd have to say that the most rewarding aspect of leading a fast growth company is the people, both the clients and the partners and the amazing associates we have in all of these different markets, in all of these different environments. It's, it's very interesting and very fun. There's a couple of rewarding aspects of leading a fast growth company. Number one is the ideas that come out of the group of people that I work with on a daily basis. My coworkers are brilliant and it's so awesome to see that innovation just within the people. We have had tremendously fast growth at DCOM and the interesting way that affects culture is it's not so much the impact on the culture is you're kind of desperately trying to maintain the culture and as we grow we've spent a lot of time creating an onboarding process and a training process to really bring the new people on board with why are we here and what do we do and what's important why do we get out of bed in the morning. If we were an 80s hair band, we would actually be the band New Order. I'd have to say Quiet Riot. It would have to be Van Halen. Fast growth has been a tremendous challenge. We've doubled revenues and headcount every year for the last four years. The biggest challenge has been how to have this huge influx of new people buy into the same way of doing business and putting in place people who share those values and that's been the big the biggest challenge. It's a lot more fun to be growing than shrinking, I can tell you that. Uh, we have the ability to bring on an, a lot of new people and they seem very excited. Many of them come from large companies and are finding the smaller company environment much more welcoming. Uh, they feel much more valued and I think they're really enjoying themselves. I think that the biggest challenge that I face today as the CEO of Fox Chase Bank is trying to navigate through an increasingly complicated regulatory environment while still delivering on our promise, our brand promise to our customers. The most rewarding aspect of leading a fast growth company is it drives innovation. It demands innovation. That can come in the form of quick thinking. That can come in the form of creativity. So it's always thinking beyond that curve. What is coming next and how you address that? I think the most rewarding part is uh, growing opportunities for our customers and our employees. Having people that are excited and feel great about the work that they're doing. The most rewarding thing about leading a fast growth company is that you know, nobody ever got burned out from working too hard. People get burned out when you're not making progress. And by definition, when you're in a fast growth company, things are changing and you're making progress. So everybody has fun. The fast pace growth has affected our culture in that you have to fail fast. You have to try things knowing that it's okay to fail and that's going to get you closer to the successful model that you want. Fast growth is just a simple part of our business um, both as we do it and as we grow it ourselves. It is complicated, it's far more difficult when we're going fast and when we're going slow, but we all embrace the challenge. Company culture is an evolving process for us, it's extremely important to us. Company culture is, is a lot about who we are and what we do and how we interact with each other on a day-to-day -day basis. It's always been about creating an atmosphere that enables people to be creative and to feel comfortable and to feel at home. And I think that we've continued to do that and will continue to do that over time. Culturally, uh, we remain a collaborative, team-oriented environment uh, with high ethical standards. So I wouldn't say growth has uh, changed that at all. We've actually tried really hard not to have fast growth impact our company culture too much. We're a family-oriented company that tries to be very personal with everyone that we have and actually we're adapting our business these days to keep that vibe from when we were small, even as we grow. The band I would use to describe our startup would be the Beatles. It'd be Kiss. Bon Jovi, I think, really represents what I would like to be in DCOM, is he's had longevity. Finding that great lead guitarist or that great front vocalist is probably the most important thing we do. There's really two parts to this. One is getting the right people in the right place, but the second is getting them to work well together as a team and make great music together. 